Hi guys, welcome back to another video of mine. So today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys how I write my notes on Good Notes. So I've gone paperless since my fourth semester, and I've never looked back, and I never regret my decision because I think I get to organize my notes better this way. And yeah, uh, I think this works better for me. So this is my iPad, uh, and this is my Good Notes. I usually I of course write my notes with uh, my Apple Pencil and this is how my notes look like in general so this is my analytical chemistry notes so I write with a lot of colors as you can see so I am a visual learner I learn better this way and yeah uh, this is how my notes look like so before going on to on to how I actually make my notes so before I used to write my notes so this is uh, what I use I used to use these washi tapes and then these are all my stationery I use a lot of colored pens even then yeah so here are all of my colored pens before that I used to have these colors and even then this was not enough for me so I guess uh, going paperless was the best for me because I got to use a lot of colors and I could just choose and here these are all of my uh, stationery so I'm going to show you how my notes look like before before I went paperless of course so I'm not saying that I have the best notes but here is how I used to study and these are my calculus notes during my first semester yeah I used to print all of these graphs that I cannot draw by my hand and it's actually a really wasteful thing to do because I wasted a lot of papers I just stuck my papers on that and so yeah this is how my first semester notes look like and then these are all of my second semester notes yeah so these are my notes this is the biochemistry subject I uh, mixed it with the fundamentals of life sciences uh, one of the courses for my second semester this is how my notes look like so it's a lot of printed uh, graphs and figures that I cannot uh, paint by myself so I used to use this ring uh, ring metal for binding all of my notes together but uh, in second semester I switched to this like I don't know what they're called like binders so you just uh, use a punch punching hole and it gets the job done it's not as neat but does not disrupt disrupt all of my notes so this is my microbiology ones yeah it's a lot thicker so I separated it so I use these uh, washi tapes and brush pens to customize my notes even more so that was my second semester and these are my third semester, my most recent one before I went paperless. Uh, this has to be my most uh, proud notes of mine because it's the most neat of all of them. So here's how it looks like. This is the immunology class. Oh yeah, I actually take pharmacy if you guys wondering so that's why all of these uh, courses look very medically sciencey there's also pharmacology and pharmacokinetics yeah all of those printed uh, figures are still there and more washi tapes and brush pans and yeah that was my third semester so this is how i uh, take my lecture notes i always type them on my laptop because i feel like i can type faster that way and because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I have to have the online classes. So here I am uh, listening to the lecture through a pre-recorded video sent by my lecturer. So I always write my lecture notes on my Google Docs so that I can open it and again later on my iPad. So what I write here is actually not the presentation here, but I write the things that my lecturer said but is not present in the slide itself so that I can compile both the uh, lecture notes and the slide itself together in one note later on in good notes and I'll show you how I uh, compile both of these together with all of the figures and yeah let's go so this is how my good notes look like so I have a few ebooks and a few folders so I'm not really tidy with my notes actually but 
uh, somehow I manage. So the uh, analytical chemistry is one of my proudest uh, note right now because it's uh, probably one of my most uh, organized notes. Uh, so here are the outlines of my course and yeah this is how my ana analytical chemistry note looks like as of right now so as you can see i have a lot of colors a lot of uh notes to take <laughs> and here's my apple pencil that i use to write i have a pink uh, soft case on it to help me better my grip and i'm going to show you how i write i write my notes with my apple pencils so because i'm left-handed i uh, put the files uh, on the right uh, right side and i write on the left side of course and so i don't really know if you would like to see uh, the process of me writing my notes because i think it's quite a lengthy one because i take my time in uh, writing my notes but here it is if you uh, enjoy this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel i actually don't usually uh, upload these kinds of videos but i think it will be great to share my what i do to study because i like doing this actually this uh really amps, amps up my will to study somehow so i usually write the title of the uh of the session uh, right up there i used to use that application called over which uh, lets you write in various fonts but somehow i just uh, deleted it because at first i couldn't get a grip of using the apple pencil it's such a uh kind of an awkward experience for me so I could not really get uh, used to that and here I am just uh, amping up the brightness of the screen because I think it's too dark I'm sorry for my camera I'm actually really blabbering right now so after some time I got used to uh, the brush feature of the good notes and I just wrote the title by myself I mean I'm not a really artistic person but I can decorate something at least and I'm actually really proud of my progress right now because I think I could write brush lettering quite well or at least I think so so <laughs> so I usually yeah I write like that and then I just selected it and then I resize it to the size that I want so I'm going to uh, speed up a few of the process because I think uh, I, I don't want the video to be too long but I usually de decorate the first title of the session to uh, give the session a, a theme to differentiate it between uh, different sessions so I just looked at the previous sessions uh, the previous session used to the color pink so this time I'm going to use the color red to decorate it yeah this is how my previous uh, session notes looks like so here I am uh, coloring the title so this is kind of a trick that I uh, learned so I just copy paste it and give it different colors to give it dimension and it looks a lot more interesting like this for me but I don't know how it looks like for you guys so I sped up this process quite a bit I take a lot of time as I said before and oh yeah uh, I have another like thing that I do when I uh, write my notes so in the first few minutes of the video you guys noticed that I inserted a footage of me uh, typing my notes my lecture notes so I always uh, screenshot my lecture notes so that I don't have to go back and forth uh, to the Google Drive application so I just screenshot it and here I am screenshotting uh, a lot of pictures because my lecturer does say a lot of things during her lectures
After that, I go back to the GoodNotes application and I paste all of the pictures, the screenshots that I took. And this is how, how I actually compile all of the slides and the lecture notes together. So here I am <laughs> trying to write in brush again. <laughs> And I'm actually going to speed up the process again because, like I said before, it's a lengthy process and I'm actually not sure that uh, any of you guys would be interested in seeing this but it somehow calms me uh, looking at the footage again I know it's quite a narcissistic uh, thing to say but I don't know, I just enjoy uh, seeing the process of how I actually write my notes and yeah, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the process and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching for any of you guys who's still here and yeah, let's enjoy the process!
I hope you're not shocked uh, hearing my voice again but I wanted to say that I cut this short because initially I wanted to uh, record me uh, writing a full page but I realized it took too much time and I just got tired I think uh, because when I looked at the time I noticed that I have been recording for like half an hour and I don't think I can fit all of those footage in one video and at least I hope you guys have an idea as to how I actually utilize the iPad, Apple Pencil, the applications and the f basically everything provided from iPad for my studies and here's how my notes look like, my half page note looks like and I hope you guys enjoyed it and and thanks for watching and uh, if you would like to check out my other videos I usually post uh, reaction videos to K-pop things and uh, and yeah I guess thank you for checking out this video anyways and I hope I didn't bore you guys so bye <laughs>